Okay. Yeah. Well, Florida homeowners are paying nearly five times more for insurance than the national average, according to a new study from Insurify. Florida homeowners are expected to pay an average of nearly $12,000 for home insurance in 2024, according to the report. That's 7% more than in 2023. The study found that of the 10 most expensive insurance markets in the country, six of them were here in Florida, all along the Atlantic coast. Rates here on the Gulf Coast are lower. Meantime, some possible good news. Eight new insurance companies will now be entering the state and writing homeowners insurance policies. We put the list on the screen. As you can see, there are not any easily recognized household names on that list. In addition to these companies, six more new insurers were given the go-ahead by state regulators in January. So, Steve, does it help that these eight new companies are coming into the state market and with the national hurricane forecast coming out this week saying five major hurricanes, 23 named storms this year, we're going to have a much more active uh, storm season than usual? Right. I think it could help. Uh, it's, it's a bit surprising, but like you said, uh, how well capitalized are these companies? I don't know. You, you mean you never heard of the Manatee Insurance Exchange you know, before? Um, this continues to be a story in every part of this state, and I wanted to tell you the story about I was recently in Palm Beach County working on stories for the Sun Sentinel, and on Channel 5 in West Palm Beach was the story of Debbie Winters, who lives in a nicely manicured home, um, middle class a home in Loxahatchee, which is a long way from the Atlantic Ocean, and her insurance premium just tripled. This is, this is the number one pocketbook issue in this state, and it's not going away. Daryl, uh, with the entrance of these five or these eight new insurance companies, does that help? You mean you never heard of Tailbow Insurance <laughs> Company? <laughs> My God, Steve, where have you been? I think it will take time for us to figure out whether or not it truly works. So, Tara, I, I think if, if the insurance industry, both the reinsurance and the regular insurance companies, look at the forecast for hurricanes, they might be tempted to raise rates right now in, before hurricane season starts. It's very possible, and we're not necessarily getting to the nut of why this is so bad. You know, in 2000, the average income was around $30,000. 24 years later, it's only 39,000. In 2000, the average home was about 164,000. Today, it's about 450,000. And so that disparity and add on to it, the fact that you're spending about $1,000 a month for home insurance makes the ability to buy homes so much more difficult. Why is this important? Because home buying creates economic stability, creates wealth and generational wealth, and that creates a better and healthier society. So we're, we're not getting to the nut of it, which is this is really interfering with the individual's ability to buy a home and, and, and have security in that way. So I wonder if uh, are insurance companies charging a fair price? That's, that's really the question because we do see an increase in storms. There's an inc we've got global warming heading our way. So maybe the insurance companies are doing the right thing to protect their, th their company. You know, that's why we need to lean on legislators like Senator Roussan to dig up, you know, what is the real deal here? How do they really solve this problem? We thought that when uh, Ron DeSantis was done running his presidential campaign, he'd come back to Florida and do the hard work of, of solving that problem. And so hopefully, you know, now with these growing costs, it's going to really put a pinch on the legislature to actually be innovative and actually try to find a solution. Darrell, has, has the legislature done it? a thorough study to see whether or not the high, high costs of insurance are justified? Every year we ask for that and every year they tell us it's not necessary or they give us some mamsy pamsy figure of what they think is happening out in the market. But we'll continue to push. There are those of us and there are people on both sides of the aisle that are concerned about property insurance and the raising of these rates. I think an insurance company just the other day got permission to raise rates double digits and we'll see what happens.